who say maybe acting as an agent or I don't know what to call it. So it is a peer to peer system. Triple M, it started in 2011 as a new project of Sergio Mavrod in Moscow, Russia, to create a new fair financial order. As a world mutual aid fund community, primarily to free the people from bondage of financial slavery. What that says is, Sergio created this thing against this unfair financial world. I think we all know when you say <coughs> unfair financial world. Those who have money, money can work for them. You know, they can trade, they can do whatever. But us who just work, all we have is a salary, and that salary can only see to my mom, my child, my siblings. You know those basic needs. So you find out that the ones that are up there and they've already got the money, it works for them, and therefore. They've set the system that even let, looking at the bank, let's, let's look at the bank. If you go to the bank today and say, I want to, to fix an amount of a thousand rand, you'll rarely find that you'll get more than five percent. But the bank takes that money and goes and does whatever they do with it and makes triple and even four times that. You understand? And then they say, When you want it back, give us notice. If you want it before time, you, there's a penalty, you understand? Yeah. So this is what Triple M is against, this unfair financial system. So you'll find people that will say, it is not possible. How can Triple M give you 30% whereas the bank gives you 4%? Then I normally say, okay, then there needs to be a, a paradigm shift because your thinking is that what the bank tells you, your bank is your friend, the bank is not your friend. Mm -hmm. The bank runs a business and they need to make money. Mm -hmm. And currently in South Africa, we have seen how things are. There's restructuring, there's all sorts of things because it's all about the bottom line. So even you as the customer of the bank, what the bank wants from you is your money, is your salary, so that they can make more money from your money. But they can only give you a small percentage of that. And they let you believe that this is it, and then you believe it, and you run with it forever. Now this is what triple M is against, that unfairness that you've been taught to believe that this is it, it's fine, let me fix it for 32 days, I'll get that 5%, you know, check EPSA, check NetBank, no. Triple M is all about that. It is here to break that, that slavery, that bondage, you know, that thing that you will work for years, but you will never be able to afford that dream holiday. You will never be able to, to build that dream house. You can't even take your kids to a, a better school, you understand? It is those basic things. For me, I normally say, <clears throat> it is not my first priority when I turn to Triple M is not to get rich, no. Triple M is here to make our lives easier, yeah. you know? Because there's this extra money, you understand, mm -hmm. that I used to not have. So with that extra money, I'm able to have someone that helps me at home before mm -hmm. I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. So if I'm busy with Triple M, I know that someone can help me. I'm able to help my mom. Amen who was retrenched four years ago, you understand? Mm -hmm. And so on and so on. People take kids to varsity. We have seen fees must fall, what things are happening. Mm -hmm. Majority of students are black students. And NFSAS is not a story. Mm -hmm. It is a law. Mm -hmm. And as blacks, you study, you graduate, the queue is long behind you. Mm -hmm. oh, my sisters, they also need to go and study. Mm -hmm. My parents as well, you understand? So this is what Triple M is about. So I usually say when someone will say to me, 30%, you, you, you are crazy, you know, and all those sort of things, then I say, then it's fine, it's not for you. There's someone out there that it is for. Yes. Because you're not understanding the bigger picture in this. Mm -hmm. Because Mavrodi had been through a lot of things before this 2011 restart. Mm -hmm. You understand? He, had, he could have just given up. You know, unfortunately, okay, let me give up. Let me just leave it. But then, the God that gave him the brain to create this system, because all he did, he said, okay, here's the system, I create it, I design it, and then, people, community. The power is within us. That's all that he used. The power that when we stand together and we work together, it's powerful. We can do anything, we can achieve anything. Now, Triple M, it becomes a community of millions and millions of people 
from more than 100 countries worldwide. Remember I said it's Marodi Mondial, so it's worldwide. So it's more than 100. It is the fastest growing community in the world. It is the number one donation exchange program. $14 billion assistance provided. So Triple M gives you a technical basic program which helps millions of participants worldwide to find those who are in need and those who are ready to provide help with their spare money. So it connects the two, like I said at the beginning. So the program came from him, the technical basic program. I came in Cape Town, in Nipongo, in Lesotho, in Namibia, in Swaziland. I want to provide help. You want to get help? It connects me and you. Because basically, there's a common goal between me and you. We both want to change our lives. We want to do better this life that we are living. When you declare the willingness to give help by clicking the provide help in your PO, the personal office, your account will be credited with a Mavro. Okay. So basically what this means is that you register on the Triple M system, you say, okay, this is how much I'm willing to provide help with. 500 Rand. Let's continue with that 500 Rand example. And then you will be credited with that Mavro. Mavro simply is money, but it's the term of Triple M for a currency. So we use it, we use Mavro. Mavro's amount will start growing from the moment of deposit at the rate of 30% per month. The calculation of interest occurs twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This sum in Mavro's shows how much you can request yourself. The growth is 30%. So whatever amount you provide help with, it will grow at 30%. If we continue with the 500 example, it will, sorry. If we continue with the 500 example, it means that if I start with 500 rand, the 30% per month is going to be 150. So that is then will be credited to my monthly section. When you go to the monthly section, that is where you see all your donations that you've made, their growth, and so forth and so forth. And if you've got referrals and things like that. So anything, when you want to check your money and everything, you will click on Marvel and everything will be there. The calculation of interest occurs twice a week, Tuesday and Thursdays. Tuesday and Thursday is where you will see the growth. Uh, Tuesdays, I mean, some people don't sleep nowadays, eh? <laughs> <laughs> So we found us that yeah, we are in the night vision still really just letting time go. So we look forward to Tuesday and Thursdays and we no longer look forward to eight days. Yeah. Yeah. My kids will say, Mama, it's twenty five today. Can you sing I don't tell I need it? And they will say, if you buy a cake, it's someone's birthday today. You think, oh my word, you know? Can't we just buy a cake on Sunday? Maybe yeah. just church, just a lunch. But there are just those things that it has been a culture and a norm for us. That the last week before payday, hurrah. Yeah. Yeah. And so on and so on. So, on. so, on. so <coughs> Marshallisa, you don't have to go to Marshallisa. Yeah. You know that. Inama Mavro is on the system. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. But why Capitec is not going to be happy, but I want to go with <laughs> Okay. So let's say you have announced your willingness to assist with 100 rand. You will be credited in your personal office with 100 Mavro, and immediately they will start growing. A month later, it will be 130 Mavro. So a month later, you'll be able to request one day. We are offering a mutual aid program with 30% growth 
per month for your donations. Growth of Mavro per month. So some people currently have it going because the system is growing rapidly. When it started, before you could donate your actual amount that you said you want to provide help with, you would have to wait about five to six weeks. But now we are looking at right. Some some benefits about triple M. When you register for the first time, triple M gives you what is called a registration bonus. I have never seen anything like that. If I go to FNB and I say, I'm open, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm depositing my money here. I was hard work and nothing, but it's just the bank charges. Where yeah. charges? It's all about them. So you get a, 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 a bonus just for joining Triple M. You know, this is wonderful. Normally, I say to my people, if you if if, if you recruit, but um, I don't force people. Because um, it, it depends. Our pockets are not the same, you know. Mm -hmm. And also in our lives, we're in different parts and different seasons. Mm -hmm. So another person can have a lot of money to start with, another one, far less. Mm -hmm. But it's the most important thing is start if you can. Mm -hmm. So I normally say if you can try a thousand rand, but it's not it's that is not triple M rules, but I'm saying because why am I saying this? Mm -hmm. Because if we're looking at, at the dollar to the rent exchange rate, right? If you donate, let me say someone who donated a 500 rand and someone who donated a 1,000 rand, a difference there. The person who donates a 500 rand will not get a bonus registration. So they will only see a 150 more at the end of the 30 days, which is 650. But the one who has started a thousand rand, they will see the 30 percent, which is 300, plus a 20 US dollar. So it's like a kick, a push already when we are already starting. You know, some of my people will be like, oh, this thing, I thought it was just 30 percent, where is it coming like It's 1.7, blah, blah, blah. And I say, it's the restraint, it's the bonus when you wait for the very first time. So when you register someone, if it's that, that person is new, 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 you will see at the bottom there's a square where you need, you need to tick registration bonus. It's just a gift, you know, to say, Nagwa, thanks for joining this thing, World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> because this money is coming from us. As it has to say, put this somewhere. As it has to say, okay, I don't want to speak about other things. But it's coming from us, it's from the community, you know. So you get that bonus. So the more you donate, then the more you get your, your, your bonus of registration bonus. Another type of a bonus that you get on Triple M is the referral bonus. If you recruit on Triple M, the person that you recruit, the amount that they have donated, you get 10% referral bonus. Uh, we move to 550 rand. Now, the beauty of Triple M is that it's 50 rand and it's the 10%. The, the but that 50 rand grows as well. Mm -hmm. So even when you want to withdraw, when you check your macros and you say click on get help, I will, this 50 rand is no longer 50 rand now. Maybe it's 10, 160, something rand, 170. It's growing. Mm -hmm. Then you choose where you want to withdraw. It's up to you. If you're going to say, okay, I'm only going to withdraw on my bonuses or I'm going to withdraw on my PHs, on the amounts that I've provided help with, then it's up to you. But whatever you leave will continue to grow and 30%. Oh yeah. So those are the structures right? of, the, of the manager's bonuses. Eighth, ninth, so it's quiet, you know, it goes down. Okay, on Bitcoins, um, Uvi Tom is just going to speak briefly on Bitcoins about that. because. When you register and you say you want to provide help, we have an option that says you want to provide help in reds or in bitcoins. <coughs> bitcoins is, I say, the future. It's a digital currency. It's we are moving away from the banks. Like if I do a withdrawal with bitcoins and if, and I, I I put my bitcoin in wallet address, I transfer it to my Zappo card, my Visa debit card. FNB doesn't know that I, I withdrew a hundred thousand. So we, we 
we, we, we are cutting the bank basically from this greediness of, you know, and so forth and so forth. So we told we'll have time just to speak briefly about Bitcoins as well. Why Bitcoin? It's easy, it's secure, it's open, it's fair. Using the Bitcoin network is free, except for a voluntary fee you can use to speed up the transaction process. Because everything is online. You, it's not like you go and open an account by FNB and then you get told, okay, you need so much for this type of account and so on and so on. But I don't want to, to tell you, we'll speak more about that. All right. We said, so once you are registered, you will gain access to your personal office. So your personal office is this. We are privileged to say the PO. So the PO is basically your triple M profile. It's where your details are going to be when you register. Uh, your name, your surname, your email, person who referred you, your guide, your mouth sections, your bank details, and so on, so on. So they are already on top. So immediately when you log in, it will take you. Yeah, it will take you to this page, but without this network. So you will see this. Then by participants, if you click there, it will show you the people that you have referred. My page, my page, you will see your details. Your contact details, your cell phone number, who referred you, and stuff on that, stuff like that. Sometimes what happens is that you register someone, but you are not sure if they are still falling under you, or whatever. Immediately, just after you registered them, go to my page, click on refer, and when you click there, your details should be there. It should show you told me what it should that should be you, you know, without you having to go to your PO and check other participants. So immediately to make sure that okay, I've done this registration correctly and I've completed everything fine, you just click on click on refer and it will show you okay, it's V, right person and it's shut. <coughs> most important thing, sorry please. Most important thing here is after you've registered the person, you need to confirm the email address and the cell phone number. It's easy to confirm the email the, the cell number. You just click on it and it says confirm. But the email address, you click on it and it, say, it sends a code to your email. And then you input that code, then it's verified. Then it will immediately turn green, meaning it's verified. Because the challenge there is that we are human, we forget passwords. Malvro is where I spoke about that it's the money. You will see everything there that pertains to money when it comes to your triple L profile. Like, you know, the referral, the referral, uh, there it's in red. The reason it's in red, it means that those people, and it says unconfirmed here, yeah, and it gives the dates. It means that those two people that she has recruited have not yet deposited their money. So it's still in red. But you see that it's red, eh? It's 216. And the next column says future. The most important things that you need when you register someone in AAA. The, the name, the surname. The email address, cell phone number, bank account, and the password that you're going to use. Bank account. Some people will say, How can I give you my bank account? When you know fraud and everything, and I think, I don't know, I've never done fraud in my life. I don't even really know how it's done. I don't know what to do with these numbers that you've given me, like, you know, to access your money. So the bank account is needed because, remember, when you start as well, that person that you're going to provide help to, you're going to get their bank details. Mm -hmm. So also for you, when you need to get help, the person who's going to provide help to you needs your bank details. So the bank details are for that. It's not for the person who's registering you. We are not there yet. <laughs> you know. So it's just the account name, I normally give it because you can have as many accounts as you want. Okay. I've been asked, I don't know, I've been asked. So you can add your FNB, your Capitec, your Standard Bank, your Net Bank. So 
Oh yeah, we'll be best, yeah. Please, no Italian bank. Get to Athens. No, no, no. Italian bank, you get people that add Italian bank and you think, where am I going to find Italian, you know? Apparently, it's only in KZN or something, I don't know, you know? It works for them, but I don't know. So, for me, knowing what I would do by account name, it's just the name that you give it. So, I would say, capital bank details, so that when I withdraw, I know, because it doesn't give you the full view of the withdrawal, it will just give you, like, if I say capital bank details, then I can be able to see, okay, capital FNB, net bank, then I know, okay, I'm withdrawing with this account now, then I click on that. So, you give it whatever name that you want to give it, it's just that name. The code is the branch code. Most of us say, what's our universal code? The bank name, the account number, that card number, I think, is no longer there. This was before, you know? The account number, beneficiary name, and then at the bottom, with the, with the current, we'll open the PO later, a uh, live one so that people can see. It says additional info slash reference. Because sometimes what you find, some people, they use business accounts, right? Mm. So, some people, when they have to go pay at the bank, then they see that the, the names are not, yeah, yeah, you know, they're not the same. Yeah. So if at least today, there by additional info, you, you you put whatever, okay, your name and surname, so that she can connect the two, mm -hmm. that okay. Oh, that's a business account, but it still belongs to this person. Mm -hmm. you know? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you used your maiden name. Yeah. yeah. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. So any additional info. I know people from Lesotho now they've started to say Lesotho because before we used to guess and think, okay, because this number is plus two six six, I'm guessing this person is from Lesotho. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. um, then you save and then that is it. Support. Let's say um, with a challenge, ne? You have a query, the person that you paid the money to is not confirming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The person who can confirm on your behalf is the point. So basically they do queries. You will write to them, so you will choose the topic there, and then you write your title, blah, blah, blah. Then you, are, you will attach a proof of payment and ask, please confirm on my behalf. The receiver is not confirming. Um, anything that you want to query. If you, 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 you're doing your get help, when you are blocked, the only thing you can see when you log into your PO is my page and support. Yeah. So what you do is you go to support, you go to create, you, 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 you click there that says blocked and you please unblock me, please unblock me, I had a challenge, I couldn't deposit, now I'm now willing to be part of this community, please unblock. It is only support that can unlock accounts. No guide can unlock accounts.